on Bondi Rescue. Happy Australia Day! Australia Day. The good, the bad and the ugly. A deep wound and a deeper mystery. Now, you didn't actually realise this happened at all. I swear to God. It's quite a significant maceration. And alone and unconscious at the skate bowl. You all right? Just come in. Hey, have your eyes. Take me back to the sweet time. day to be heading to the beach. Most of Sydney will be heading to the sand and we implore you to swim between the flags. It looks like being the hottest Australia day in 31 years. While the weatherman forecast one thing, down at Bondi the sky told a very different story. 9am and a dense fog creeps onto the beach. What do you think about all the fog? Impressed. Not impressed. We watched this on TV. Every time we watch this TV, it's so nice and shiny. The rare weather event is more than a novelty. For lifeguards, it's becoming a safety issue. This fog's really spooky. I can't see the southern end of the beach at the moment, so it's a little bit uh, got us a little bit on edge. Back right over central, this fog's getting worse at the northern end of the beach. Yeah, I, I, I can't hardly even see the front of the beach down here, mate, right in front. With thousands in the water, seeing anyone in trouble is becoming increasingly difficult. Remain calm, I'm coming, I'm going to get you. I'm here, buddy. Yeah, mate, grab my hand. Just relax. All right. Ridiculous. Visibility is about 100, 150 metres. The lifeguards are all wind along the beach and we're, we're sort of trying to work out what to do. It's like waiting for a pirate ship to come out of the mist and attack you or something. 11 a.m. Instead of burning off at the sun, the fog continues to thicken. Just having to think about whether we're leaving people in the water. Hoppo is faced with a critical decision. Should he pull down the flags and close the beach to swimmers? You know, liability, if we, we miss something, you're going to say, why didn't you close the beach? The only thing with pulling the flags is you might get 100 or so people out of the water, but is then everyone just going to swim everywhere? To make matters worse, thousands are about to attempt an inflatable thong world record. Close the beach soon if you don't stay close to shore. Gotta close, close the beach, man. Gotta close the beach. The decision is made. On one of the busiest days, on Australia's busiest beach, Bondi is closed for swimming. We've made the decision now, we're about to clear the beach due to the uh, poor visibility. We can't see anybody in the, in the water. We've got jet skis out the back and we're just slowly pulling people back in and making announcements on the megaphones. Do you want to go in, please? Just... All the people in the water, the lifeguards have closed the beach due to the fog. Ladies and gentlemen, we have closed the beach. We have pulled the flags down. Our visibility was close to zero. We don't know when we will be putting the flags back up. I do know the event is on hold with the fongs at the moment. We're extremely sorry for this. Your life is very important to me. Thank you. What a beautiful speech. It's like he's going for Prime Minister. Look at the mass exodus of the water. He's, it's like the Pied Piper. He's just sung a tune and, and here they come. What's happening? Oh, they're just closing the beach at the moment. Oh, 
quite extraordinary. Looked at the uh, looked on the surf cam this morning. Was going, oh, it's all misted it up. There's, there's something on the window, and then realised it wasn't on the window. You couldn't actually see. Despite the danger, many disregard lifeguards' advice. Then, three hours after it crept in, the fog slowly retreats. You can almost see the other end of the beach now. You know, my visibility out here is perfect. I can almost see south. With 2,000 thong riders itching to go, lifeguards reopen Bondi. So much fun! Woo! Happy Australia Day! Happy Australia Day! <laughs> to achieve a world record, every thong rider has to join hands beyond the surf. Why? Why not? The record is set without a hitch. Not that Hoppo is celebrating. Yeah, you know, with this event over, it, it, our day really starts from here because we're going to have the rest of these people around all day with their thongs. They're going to be going in the water for the afternoon and uh, massive crowds. Bondi gets on with the business at hand. Happy Australia Day! It's starting to clear up now, the sun's coming out. Yeah, so that's all good. Estimated 40,000 on the beach, the boys in blue have their work cut out. But this time, the problem isn't in the water. Lifeguards are called to attend a man with a severe wound on the beach. How'd you do that? Oh, 